Good day. Today we are going to answer a simple physics problem involving time dilation. Let us suppose that a 26-year-old physics teacher falls in love with a 17-year-old student. Since the relationship is forbidden, the teacher leaves on a rocket trip, and the spaceship travels at a speed of 0.99 the speed of light and is gone for 13 years as measured on an Earth clock. How old are the teacher and the student when she returns? And can the student finally marry his teacher? Before we dive into the mathematical calculation, let us, of course, first identify the information given in the problem. First, we have the age of the physics teacher, which is 26. Next, the age of the student, which is 17. We also have the given value for v squared, which is 0.99 the speed of light. And, of course, the speed of light itself, which is 3 times 10 to the power of 8. Now, in the problem, it has been mentioned that the physics teacher has been gone for 13 years as measured in an earth clock. Through that, we now know that the observer is outside of the rocket ship and is on earth, and therefore we would use the measured time that corresponds to the 13 years mentioned in the problem. Do not forget these equations as well for the proper time and the measured time, as this will be used later in the computation. Now, let us answer the first part of the first question. How old is the physics teacher when she returns? In order for us to know her age after her rocket trip, we would use this equation, the change in proper time. All of the values have already been listed, so all we need to do is plug them into our equation. After performing all the necessary calculations, we should get 1.83 as the change in proper time. We can now add this answer to our given values here on the left for laser reference. Now how could we calculate the physics teacher's current age? All we need to do is add this value of change in proper time to her age prior to the rocket trip. And by doing that, we would find out that her age is now 27.83 years old, just a year older than when she left Earth. Moving to the second part of our first question, let us now find out the age of the student when his physics teacher returns. Now for this one, we would use the equation of the change in measured time, since we're talking about the observer on Earth. Similarly, all the values already here on the left, we just need to plug them into our equation. Performing all the necessary calculations, we would get 12.97 as the value of our change in measured time. To solve for the student's age after his physics teacher's return, we just need to add this value of change in measured time to his age prior to the departure of his teacher. And by doing that, we would find out that his age is now 29.97 years. 12 years had passed on him on Earth, while it is just a year for his teacher. Now that we already know the new ages, we can now be able to answer the second post question. Can the student finally marry his teacher? Assuming that we will not consider any other factors when talking about this thing, then the answer would be yes. The student can finally marry his physics teacher as they are now in the proper age range to do so, thanks to time dilation. 